Universal Pictures presents. I've got three dads coming to my wedding, and I have to tell two of them their surplus, only which two. Are you getting any? What do you mean? if you slept with hundreds of men. Watch that scene. I haven't slept with hundreds of men. Mamma Mia. You sound like to have fun already. Oh, we are. I used to have fun. Oh, we know. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's a look at the blockbuster Mamma Mia. Of course, the movie remake of the successful stage show, which was modelled from the songs penned by and sung by ABBA. Cause. And mm. somehow they kind of all, well, kind of, kind of fit together with a narrative. Some do. Kind of, sort of, some do. Yeah. Although, why you'd start singing Chikatita? I thought that was one of the good ones. But I didn't get why they were singing that. No. Is, is, is her name Chikatita? I don't know, surely no. not. They could have had someone's name Chikatita. Um, so they could have. And look, we're all set on a beautiful Greek island. We've got a, uh, a wedding about to happen with three mystery dads invited who mum obviously had relations with years ago. And it's all, we're all about a wedding which people love. There's lots of singing and dancing. And, what's, and a what's Greek not, island. What's, what's not to like? What's not to like? Look, I love ABBA. Oh, should I say I loved ABBA? Because I don't think you say it in the present tense anymore, they do you? They don't go away, though, Really? Collins. No. They, <laughs> they just don't go away. At least not on the radio stations that we listen to. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I must admit, I was, a, I was finding it a little bit excruciating because, you know, with a musical, there's got to be a time where they've got to just be normally chatting and then launch into song. And you've got to suspend your disbelief. And I'm not very good mm -hmm. at that if I'm you well, know, not the into genre, the story. Isn't it? I'm great and at I'm that. not into the narrative yeah. because I don't want to watch a wedding and I don't care about the three dads and all that sort of stuff. But about halfway through, I found myself just ignoring all of that and saying, you know, maybe I can just relax and enjoy it enough anyway. Did you tap your feet? There were a couple of songs too many. Like I yeah. kind of started yawning about midway through. There was through. a couple of unknown ABBA songs in there. Yeah, not big ones. And, and I thought they... Not the, they not certainly the, didn't come off ABBA Arrival not because to fans I would like know that. Well, there's, no, there's nothing wrong with putting lesser songs in there, but they were flat. Yeah. Pierce Brosnan sang one of it. I, oh. I rest my case. Yeah. Oh, look, uh, look, Amanda Seyfried was chosen with a beautiful voice. She was magnificent. Meryl can do anything. But some of the men's performances... Eh, um, Christine Baranski, when she was on the beach Terrific. doing her thing with the, the younger boy, Does Your Mother Know? That <laughs> was really fun. Yeah. Although I was cringing watching a 50-odd-year-old well, woman. Well, she's a Broadway woman. veteran. Yeah. Yeah, she's, well, well, yeah. Where I think this movie works and where it doesn't, is, and I think it's really uneven, is that I wasn't interested at all in the young girl's story and her bridesmaids. They were boring, and that's a common theme for me. I'm finding the young people in movies these days boring. The movie doesn't <laughs> take... What's <laughs> yeah, true? Oh, God, where are we going with this? Well, I, that, was, that was like watching a chick flick. It was like watching Sex and the City and um, Made of Honor no or something. There were no young chicks in Sex and the City. Well, they're trying to be young. <laughs> um, young person's mentality. And then along comes Meryl, and Julie Walters, wasn't she a standout? And they, they take over the, the screen. And for me, the best part of it is, is about four numbers. They do money, 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 hilarious and brilliantly choreographed. Um, I did like Chikatita. I thought it was funny. I thought Julie pulls that off. Dancing Queen is the highlight. I like the one where they were on stage doing it Super for the trooper. Hens Night. I like that one. Yeah, so I thought they were good. I thought, but I thought some of the transitions from spoken word to song, and that must be the stage play's fault, clunky. Pierce Brosnan gets away with SOS, shouldn't have done any more singing. <laughs> Colin Firth Save is fun. Singers. He doesn't have enough to do, no. but he, he's fun. Stellan Skargard. He's got even less to do. I can't say his word. I, I, I sort of like him, but he's got nothing to do as well. And I think it runs out of steam, and I didn't like the last half an hour of it. But well, I missed the last half an hour. I was going to say, Andre, you, you, <laughs> you took off about after Mamma Mia. You hated that much. The oh, winner takes yeah. it all, Gavin, on the cliff top. Yeah. Come on. Two, two things with Unbeatable. that. Unbeatable. I thought Meryl did a brilliant job vocally throughout this mm -hmm. film. I think she was brilliant. And she has a great solo. 
And as good as she was, you couldn't help but watch Piers Brosnan in it. Poor old Piers had to stand there being serious throughout the whole Watching scene. Watching her singing you know on the clip top. You know those musicals where someone's got to be serious while the other person's singing? And I thought he looked uncomfortable and I felt sorry for him. Meryl's fantastic. When Meryl's on the screen, it's, it's great. Tight ass Tuesday for me because when she's off, it's not much. Yes. Yeah, and I'm with you, Gav. I was really not interested in the Dominic Cooper um, no. relationship with no. the girl. I was going, well, I know they're too young to get married. That's the whole point of this thing. But they don't even seem to like each other very much. So what, what are they doing? Oh, I forgot. What did I write? Oh, oh, look, I've written full price because I think that if you do pay full price, you yeah. are going to enjoy, enjoy it. it. But, uh, you know, in reflection, it's tight ass Tuesday. Now, seeing as you stormed out of the cinema, Andre, you can't possibly give it a good score. <laughs> no, I left for other other reasons, um, but I will give it. To, I'll give it half price Tuesday. But can I say guilty pleasure? Yeah. Perhaps for the end of well, the year for me. If you stay to the end of the movie, definitely guilty pleasure territory there, because they come back and do a couple of numbers That's in funny. spandex. In spandex, mm. and you got Colin Firth dancing around. It's very manipulative, I think, this movie but it never takes itself seriously, as if it could. Can yeah. I say they're unnecessary? We've got the, the stage play showing in about 30 locations around the world. Do we really need the movie version? Probably not. Okay.